go, let's go, let's go. Everybody go, let's go. Oh my God. It's moving towards us. Okay, we actually need to take shelter. Oh my gosh. There's an earthquake. Hey guys, welcome to our vlog today. With the pandemic we've been dealing with for the entire last year, I'm sure a lot of you guys have considered how prepared you are or aren't for an emergency. But the question is, how prepared are you really? So today in our vlog, our family is gonna see how prepared we are for different types of emergencies. Oh look, I have a guest now. Anyway, some of you guys might remember about two years ago when we got our kids emergency go bags. Everybody go ahead and find a bag that you think you'd like to have. So definitely think for Alyssa. Do you think you could carry it in an emergency? Yes. You never know when there could be a fire or a flash flood, so it's always good to be prepared. We're gonna check on those today and make sure they are literally good to go. Oh look, there's my kids. Look how cute. Okay, can everyone please go find their go bag for me? Yes. See who can get back here the fastest, let's go. I keep mine right here in my closet. Right where it is. Grab it out. Grab your own bag. <laughs> well, Owen's looking for his own personal bag. And oh. Come on, come on. Where is it? Daddy has it. Come on, bud. We share. <laughs> he said, oh. Okie dokie. Now, that wasn't the actual drill where we're going to see how fast everyone can really do this. For now, everyone, let's open our go bags. Let's check out what's inside so we can remember what we have in them. Make sure nothing's expired. There's nothing in here, Owen. Kids are acting like they just won the lottery. Alyssa, why does your water bottle have water in it, though? I don't know. Flash, right? Yes, flashlight. We have water bottles. This one got broken. That's why mine is different. Yeah, it looks like the zipper on Chris's original one is ruined, so this bag's. No good, so he has a new backpack. So they have blankets in there. We have toothpaste, toothbrush, toilet paper. Water filter. Oh, that's useful. That's freeze dried food. Let's check the date on that. Eight of 2023, so good to go. So it looks like everyone's go bags are good to go, if you will. Lots of good stuff. The batteries look good still. Look what David has. An N95 mask. We could have used that when we couldn't buy masks at the beginning of last year. It's because we were living in Hawaii and we did not have our go bags when the pandemic started. Otherwise, we would have actually had masks when we could not get masks. We've been preparing like forever and we've always had like canned foods and dried foods, water purifiers, because you never know if there's gonna be an earthquake and you can't get to a store or a fire. So we've always had a preparation kit, but here in this house, we have nothing. Okay, show me yours. Oh, you got food in it. The adult bag that Matt has is meant for a couple people or even like a small family. So his is a lot heavier, but it has a flashlight, all kinds of stuff. The kids have kid bags, except David, who I think also has a bag that's meant for two people. Oh, cool, there's a tent. These are really good emergency bags that we have. It's good to have them, just for peace of mind. It looks like everything in our go bags is good. Nothing's expired, so we're gonna put everything back. But I do recommend that every year in January, you take a look at your emergency preparedness and do everything that we're gonna do in today's video. And January is just a good time to do it because it's the beginning of the year and it's easy to remember. Now it's time for everyone to put their go bags back in their room. And our first drill is going to be to see who can get their go bags out here the fastest. Now we're gonna do a drill. Everyone has to run to the room, get their go bag as fast as they can and come back here to the family room, which is our meeting place for the first drill. On your mark, get set, go. Look at the dog. Oh, advantage of having close rooms to the family room. Look at the dog. <laughs> hurry, Owen, hurry, Owen. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, Owen. Meanwhile, Han is really riled up over that. <laughs> The next thing we're gonna do is check our alarms around the house. We have smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms, and we're gonna check our flashlights to make sure they have working batteries. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, plug your ears, kids. 
There we go. That one works. This is our flashlight drawer. This works. Here's my flashlight. Good. Here's works. Oh, we need new batteries in two of them. Actually, three of them. This one works. Awesome. Okay, well we have a few we're gonna put new batteries in and then we'll be good to go. In our hallways we have smoke alarms slash carbon monoxide alarms. So we're gonna test this one now. Okay, so we know they work. And it's good to hear them so we can just know what they yeah. sound like. It's nice because these are hardwired to the house. There's no batteries in some of these. So when this one went off, it immediately triggered the others so we could hear it everywhere. Everybody put your go bag away and then lay in your bed because we're going to start our first drill. Oh my God, fire! Gotta get my go bag. Faster, faster, faster. Grab those go bags. And run to the pool. Owen, come on, let's go. Grab your bag. Grab your go bag. Let's go, One run, meeting spot. Good boy. Okay, good. So this is our meeting spot in case of fire out by the pool. Unless you hear otherwise from mommy and daddy, this is where you'll go, okay? The next drill we're gonna do is practicing our army crawl on the ground in case of fire. Because the smoke's gonna rise, so the safest place is to stay low. Okay, ready, set, go. Hurry. We've actually experienced a lot of natural disasters ourselves. We've had floods. This is a storm drain shooting water out into the ocean that's coming off of our neighborhood. Oh my gosh, look here, Matt. Oh. That's the stairs we walked down. Oh my gosh. I'm like literally soaking wet within seconds. <laughs> this is insane. Is this the worst storm we've ever been in? Yes. I don't think we've ever had one like this before. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is going to come in the house very soon. That's our back door. It is literally about one inch from coming in the house. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to do. It's so close to coming in our house. It's like, it's like a this it is coming in our house. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should get in our car and go to higher ground because the water is coming in at a very rapid rate. Oh my gosh. We're literally, this is crazy. Quickly, get the ukuleles, your shoes, everything. We got to get everything off the floor. The house is flooding. We've definitely had fires. That's like a hundred foot flame. Look at it. What? Oh my gosh. That is really big and really close. Here are the fire trucks coming. Oh, look how close it is. Oh. Wow. Oh. Dropped a ton of stuff at the bottom of it. Our babies are scared. Look at the angle he's flying at. And we had an earthquake just this last year while I was sitting at my computer desk. Go to the doorways. There's an earthquake. Mommy. Mommy. There was like two earthquakes. Let me see. Is it, are we safe? That one. That had to be kind of big. Oh, you can see the water moving on the fish tank. Right next to her, we felt. Yes. Her glass thing she had displayed it had fallen over. Yes. I was lucky because I still like coloring on my bed, and then the window started shaking. And I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> and then everyone was like, "Earthquake!" So what do we do in case of an earthquake? Fire! Door frame. Behind a couch. 
Yes, you wanna be away from things that can fall. And if you can't get to a door frame, it is good to find a place that's like a pocket that can protect you. So if you go by a couch, they kind of call that the little triangle of protection because you're next to the couch and if something falls, it's tall enough to protect you. A natural disaster we've been part of twice while traveling is actually tornadoes. Whoa, okay, that's insane. Is that like a tornado? Um, we might have to turn around, you guys. We decided to turn around and go the other direction because we looked like we were going right into a tornado and that was terrifying. Okay, this is crazy. Tornado we just got warning. a tornado warning. Oh, let's go right. Look at all those clouds. There's a lot of lightning and rain. Hurry. It's moving towards us. Okay, we you actually need to go. take shelter. Oh, Grab a jacket if you have one. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is scary. Let's go. Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. Okay, we found a hallway. We're below the lobby. We're down like really far down. So I think this is probably gonna be the best place. Crazy weather can be a little bit scary, but I think when you're more prepared, it's less scary. When you're in a tornado, you need to seek shelter in the lowest place you can, like a basement. It was about four years ago when we had a major flood here and we had to put sandbags by the front door. What's that? Look, this is like oh swirling right here. Kind of like a tornado. Whoa. I know, look at that. This is crazy. Oh my God. It looks really bad out here. The whole street's just a mess. Here's some more of our yard. Pretty flooded. Oh, our no. palm tree tipped over. Isn't that crazy, you guys? So make sure you know where the local sandbags are in your community. Something else I like to do every January or February, you know, as soon as I can get to it in the beginning of the year, is check my medicine cabinet. We keep our medicines, actually, as well as some of our food storage in our pantry. Make sure you have sufficient things such as ibuprofen, Tylenol, and any essential medicines you might need. And also look for things like this that are expired and need to be thrown away. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think we all really enjoyed doing it. It's nice when you feel comfortable with your drills because then if you have to actually carry them out in real life, at least you've done it before. So we recommend that you guys do something similar with your family. Decide what kind of natural disasters could possibly take place wherever you live and make sure you're prepared. Run some drills, get your go bags, check your pantries, check all the things we did so you can just feel safe and secure. And we wanna wish all of you guys a fantastic and healthy and safe 2021. Bye. Bye.